Hey Spartans, we're here from Red Deer, Alberta. It's Johnny Waite, uh, Race Director, Nick Bertrand, Construction Manager. And uh, we've actually got some uh, bad news we've got to relay, but I'm going to do it in English, Nick's going to repeat it in French, and uh, we'll, we'll get the message across. Comme Johnny vient de dire, en fait, euh, je vais traduire pour lui, il ne va jamais comprendre parce qu'on s'entend qu'il ne comprend pas très bien le français. Mais on a des mauvaises nouvelles pour vous euh, en direct euh, Red Deer ici en Alberta euh, concernant la course de Québec euh, de Montréal. Euh, Johnny. Cool. Um, yeah, so uh, you probably received the email by now uh, that Quebec has been cancelled. Uh, our Montreal race, we've worked so hard to make that happen this year. Um, as you all know, we usually do it in the spring in a mountain venue. It's incredible. It's some of our best races in the world, definitely some of our best races in the world. Uh, this year with the uh, COVID cancellation in the spring, it got moved to the fall. We scrambled trying to find venues. Everywhere is booked either for mountain bikes or um, fall events. And uh, it was really, really tough. I got to give all the credit to Nick for going again and again and again to try and find a venue. Um, we finally had found one, got everything arranged. Uh, we're going to make it work. And then this um, so mandatory cool. vaccine uh, uh, passport came in. And, you know, uh, to put an event together like we have um, where you need volunteers, you need staff, you need racers, uh, it was just getting impacted so much that it just was the final straw and it really couldn't happen. So, um, Nick. Right. Finalement, qu'est-ce qui est arrivé? Il nous faut, il faut en fait, euh, déclarer la. La cancellation de la course de Montréal cette année, malheureusement, on est vraiment déçus, honnêtement. Euh, Johnny et moi, on, avait, on a travaillé super fort à essayer de trouver un endroit qui serait euh, adéquat pour cette course. Euh, mais tous les endroits, absolument, qu'on va, on aime vraiment euh, les, la course de Montréal, on aime ça être dans les montagnes, les choses dans le genre. On a, on a essayé d'en trouver, euh, mais tout a été bouqué pour, euh, pour les, euh, les couleurs de l'automne. Et puis, euh, donc, on ne pouvait vraiment pas avoir une course là. C'est vraiment assez malheureux. Euh, mais on ne pouvait pas avoir une course à Montréal cette année, surtout avec l'arrivée des, euh, du passeport vaccinal et puis tout, euh, ça serait, c'est beaucoup trop de, de logistique pour nous derrière euh, la scène. Donc, euh, ben, c'est ça, en fait, on, on doit canceller la course, mais on se remet ça l'année prochaine. Euh, l'année prochaine, la course de Montréal sera euh, plus éclatante que jamais. Et euh, on va s'assurer que c'est une des, des courses à se souvenir l'année prochaine. I'm sure Nick just said some of this. <laughs> I, uh, I I got lost when uh, when he, I laughed at mandatory vaccine facts for it. That's the last thing I recognized. But <laughs> I'm pretty sure Nick said we'll be back next year with a better course than ever. And um, uh, you know, again, we just want to give all the respect and love to our, our Quebec racers. You guys um, were the very first Spartan racers in Canada. You've stuck with us. It's been a brutal couple of years for you, for us, for everyone. Um, it is heartbreaking to us, to our team, to not be putting on this race, but we know it's even more heartbreaking to you who don't get to come out and race. So um, we will be back next year. Uh, we will be out uh, with an announcement this fall about where that venue is going to be, so you have lots of time to use your mm. race credits and things like that to get booked and get your next year planned. And, um, you know, we got to be a little careful because last year we said we'd be back better than ever in 2021, and who knew that COVID was going to drag out two years. Um, mm. Got to feel pretty confident that we're back strong for next year. But we do promise that when we come back, it's going to be truly better than ever. Um, we're all about overcoming obstacles. Uh, sometimes you fall down and it takes a while to get up, and that's where we're at right now. So. Uh, oui, c'est ça. En fait, euh, on, va être, on va être de retour l'année prochaine à 100%. Euh, puis ça va être mieux que jamais. Ça, on vous le garantit. Euh, puis on veut, on veut s'assurer que les dates pour euh, puis l'endroit aussi pour euh, la, la course l'année prochaine soient euh, remis plus tôt. En fait, on aimerait ça que les dates soient remis pour vous, pour que vous puissiez faire vos plans euh, cet automne. Donc, on va s'assurer de ça, euh, d'avoir un, une super belle place pour faire la course. Et puis, ben, euh, on, c'est drôle, Johnny disait exactement notre euh, notre moto et notre moto, notre euh, notre euh, Lost the word? Lost the word. Isn't that funny? Nobody's <laughs> bilingual, are they? I spent too much time in the US. <laughs> Thanks, guys.